obviously. Um, what a bitch, she killed him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, what? Yeah. Oh. Lovely man. Hello? Try it now. So if I forget, is it? No. We'll share. It's okay, don't worry. We'll share. And then we'll spoon later on if you like. We'll go spoon later. Anyway, um, tell, tell us about the theme of the song. You know, it's a classic, you know, um, you know good and evil. Or, you know, light, light and dark side. Why did you pick that theme yourself, and why did what made you want to do it? Um, hi guys. Um, what you couldn't see was basically it was just red and white. We had the, the bad guy featured in red, and obviously white, which unfortunately because of the jet it couldn't be seen. But I'd actually taken the the, the idea from an episode of Tom and Jerry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but um, yeah, because we've all got consciences, we all know when we're doing right, we all know when we're doing wrong. But I really liked the cartoon because you could actually see them there. And I thought if we could take that and make it a film, you know, that would be brilliant. And when I spoke to the guy that did the editing and who was also the cameraman, he was, he was kind of on board, but he just kept saying, this is going to be very hard. And it is. To, the, to date, the hardest film we've ever had to do because there was so much post production to do to make sure that we could get it so it was split screen and nobody could tell. And um, luckily, with Tim, who came on to play the pack after Sam, he just embraced it. He just went for it. He said, This is going to be brilliant because this is what actors like to do. They don't want to be just one character. So he embraced it, and yeah, we just took the old, as you say, fable of good and evil. And mixed about with it. You're also an actor, aren't you, as well as a film filmmaker? Yes. Yes, cool. So, how come you didn't take on the role? Why did you stay behind the camera? Um, <laughs> fresh air. I've directed myself once, and I swore I would never do it again. Well, it's why just. Is that? Why didn't you want to do it again? Why did you? I'm very passionate about what I do, and I like to give it 100 percent, if not more. But. If you're trying to be behind the camera and then you're also trying to see what the cameraman's seeing, you're also trying to direct the actors and also be the actor, it was just too much. And from then on I was, I was thought, am I going to do one or the other? Never do both again. It's just, it's just too much work. So in that situation, um, what would you have done? Would you have killed it? How would it play out? <laughs> Oh, I'd have brought the boys around. <laughs> She's been a bit hammered. Um, but no, what I wanted to try and do was get to the fact within the story that either way is not right or wrong. Violence isn't the end of it. So when he decided that, well, I'm not going to do this, I wanted her, as you saw, she only had a bad side. And that was actually based on someone I know, but I will not tell you who. <laughs> So uh, what else have you got planned, you know, have you got any more films on the way, um, what are you going to do next? And what will the theme be, will it be a continuation of that theme? No. Um, we've actually got a, another project lined up which we do the first read through for this week and it's based on two stories which we, we all know about. We all know about Joseph Phelps and how he kept his daughter in the basement for 24 years. And then in the States, we had the other side, um, Chasey Lee Dugard. She was kept a prisoner for 18 years. And I really, I, I know it's horrendous stories and stuff, but I really liked that fact. I just couldn't believe that people could keep someone as a prisoner for that long. And I was talking to a friend of mine who's an actress, and we were messing about with this. I was like, we'll have to do something like that one day. And the way I work is, once I've got something niggling in me, I have to write it. I write all the time. And I just went home and I wrote the script. The initial I was going to put down like the idea. I wrote all 27 scenes that night. It was just, and that's the next project, so we're going to actually do something a little bit darker than, because I still think that's got some comedy in there. But this one's quite dark. We'll start that this week. So, um, 
how, how do you fund, do you fund them in yourself, and how long do they take to make, like for that one, for example? I mean, they, if you do quite a lot of scripts, are they quite spur of the moment, and you churn them out lot, lots and lots of films, or does it take a lot of planning? Um, how do you organise the project? You know, if there's any budding filmmakers out there who want to know how to, you know, instigate a film. Um, tough question, actually. Regarding the length of time that it takes to make a film, I've got to say it depends on the script. That one took two days, um, which was quite easy because we had the one location, we just went for it. The film that I did before that took nine days to film because there was multiple locations, so it depends obviously on the script. Um, and do I churn scripts out? Yeah, I do actually. I give quite a lot away because I just, I write all the time. And I find that a lot of filmmaker friends will say, I am a filmmaker, but they don't write. So I will give scripts away. And there's actually a guy in this room tonight who I gave a script to um, a couple of years ago. And you know, I just, just enjoy writing, just enjoy filmmaking, everything about it. I think we all really enjoyed the film. So thank you for coming along and doing the chat with me. It's brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.